So getting a lot more information here. Winds are still 30 again. There's a potential tropical cyclone, but don't get hung up on the term. It's just basically a potential for the system to develop into something more, and it is going to do that here. Uh, is beginning a depression later today by this afternoon. Tropical storm by overnight tonight, and then a hurricane there by 1 a.m. on Saturday, maybe a little sooner than that. Now, it is a little bit weaker than we showed you yesterday, but I still think we get to give it a little stronger and strengthening up until landfall, which would occur late morning, early afternoon on Saturday. But notice again, just because this is where the icon in line are here not too far away from Morgan City, New Iberia area. The cone does stretch though from uh, Cameron Parish all the way here to New Orleans. So some of the models are trying to make more of that easterly track right over top of us. So this is what we'll be watching the strength of the storm and also what's going on above the storm up to the north. Large ridge of high pressure going to help to drive this system in a trough. Does it pull it sooner to the north or does it take longer to the pull it northward? That's exactly what we are waiting for here moving forward. So we still of course have tropical storm watch Plaquemines pairs there. Lake Bourne area and hurricane watch from there all the way back into parts of the western part of the state. Now you'll notice the hurricane hunters as mentioned coming out of Tampa doing their mission here, uh, finding winds around 30 miles per hour, still not that strong, and they'll sample some of these thunderstorms and continuing to zigzag through. They are finding some lower pressure ratings though, which does tell me that the storm is strengthening as that pressure continues to fall. The storm does get a little stronger. Now this is the American model. The update here just coming in this morning by 7 a.m. tomorrow or Friday does have it here south of the city of New Orleans, but notice it kind of takes a due north from there. It does not not taking more of that westward track. So that trough I was talking about to the north would pull this word northward. It would also not be as strong of a system, but notice where the rain is displaced now from the city in the Mississippi. So Mississippi, you're not out of the gun yet here. You still have to watch out for this as well as with this model could show that continuing and the storm moved to the North Shore and then all the way up into Hattiesburg and then beyond in Alabama as we get into Sunday and would take a lot of the heaviest rain moving it more toward Mobile and the Florida Panhandle. European model, on the other hand, does have this one still kind of a more of that westward track still south South of us here by Friday morning, but then still kind of a west northwest track toward Morgan City over towards, say, Kaplan, Louisiana, Abbeville area by 7 a.m. there as we go on into about Saturday. And then it would go farther to the north, but spread the heavy rain from New Orleans to Baton Rouge on into Lafayette area and continue on into parts of Mississippi. So that's a big difference there Sunday night from Bastrop, Louisiana, Monroe area versus over toward Birmingham. So it's still a big spread in those models as we move forward. So what you need to be prepared for is winds, or rather uh, rainfall, 10 to 15 inches, 20 inches in a few spots possible here. Uh, storm surge three to six feet out there of cooling in the Mississippi River. Winds 20 to 50, possibly gusting more to 60 or so along the coastline. And yes, tornadoes will be possible with the system as well. Heavy rain leading to a flash flood watch now till 7 a.m. on Sunday with maybe two to four inches of rain per hour at times. Storm surge watch continues too, and we are still watching again the river rise. Currently sitting just around 16, 16.1 feet, but it'll briefly go up to 20 feet here by Saturday morning and then drop down by Saturday afternoon evening, but again, as mentioned, the levees protect us to 20 feet in some cases even better than that. So that's at least some good news there. So today's the time to prepare nowhere to go. If we have some flooding issues out there, if you have to evacuate where you're supposed to go, the roads are supposed to take as well too. be aware of what's going on. Have that plan and stay aware. Keep it tuned to Channel 4 right now. Our weather is fairly quiet. We're sitting at 82 here in town. 70 is on the North Shore back into the Homa area. Not much in the way of rain out there now. A couple coastal showers, but they're finding some drier air at the moment. That's kind of preventing most of them from coming on in, but we will see some showers coming in later. Some could try to produce a tornado or two, so we'll watch out for that. But you can see here some of these bands of rain may come in from lunchtime on into about the afternoon hours today and then maybe kind of tapering off a little bit by dinner time. Overnight, we'll still see a little more rain coming in and look for a little more rain tomorrow than what we'll see today. Some of these could produce some gusty winds as well as can't rule out a tornado or two for tomorrow. And then the heaviest rain, the MIG rain threat is going to be a Saturday into Sunday with some windy conditions as well.